it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on MAFM V2. So, might be a little bit shorter of a video. Uh, I have to work in an hour and a half, and it's going to take a half hour to do this video. And then tonight, I am going to be insulating um, with my uncle. So, if this video goes out late or else on Wednesday, I apologize in advance, but. Um, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. Hopefully I can get this done. Um, this might be only like a 20 minute video. We'll see what happens. Because um, I want to be able to get it at least uploading before I leave. Um, so we will see what happens here. <clears throat> That's also why I'm starting recording before... Uh, before it was finished loading and whatnot. Get that guy going again. This guy ready. Don't need him. Get this guy ready. Lots of stuff to fire up here. And that's all good. Let's get some lights on. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot I can't do that. There we go. Uh, lights. And then... Lights. Okay. Let's get rocking and rolling here. We're gonna be at this, uh... Straw for quite a while at this rate. I mean, we've been working on it for quite a few videos now. So, uh, <clears throat> after the harvest, we will, uh, get everything good to go, and we'll sit and fast forward time. Uh, of course, we will have to kind of keep an eye on our cattle as well, make sure that they're always, um, being productive, but, um, we're gonna fast forward time until we get a great demand for each crop that we've got. So, like, fast forward until we get a, you know, great demand for oats, a great demand for sunflowers, and a great demand for sorghum. So that way we can get the most bang for our buck. Um, or else, if a crop is already like a super high price, then we'll just sell it. But uh, let's just see what we got here. Oops, passed it. What we got for upcoming demands here. Uh, so we have potatoes, soybeans, and milk coming up. So none of those are going to be of any help to us. So we've got a... We have to fast forward at least like a day and a half for sure until we get some other great demands coming up or until they show up on here as upcoming. So we will uh, we'll just have to see what happens with that I guess. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see what we can do here once that time comes. See how uh, see how things make out there. Hopefully things work out nice and we can get a lot of money, get some more fields. So let's look right now. Um, our prices for sorghum and sunflower. Let's see, one thousand three. Wow, 1,253. 828. Yeah, so that 1,023 is definitely going to be the... So like sorghum, we won't need to wait for a great demand. Because it's already a very high price. And we probably won't get a great demand anyways. Or if we do, it'll be a long time away or something like that so we'll just sell that stuff right away and probably the oat or the sunflowers as well I mean once we're ready to start selling we'll look at the prices see what uh, see what's what see what would be the best option uh, whether it would be best to 
just fast forward time or to um, just sell right away rather than wait for a great demand and you're stuck of course because why wouldn't it be Turn your lights on, Combine. It's it's nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. That's what twenty one hundred would be. Okay, we actually better start getting going with this grain cart. Nice part is, is you will start being on open spots, so we don't have to worry quite as much about the uh, fences here. So we're gonna just back up and turn around. Oh, I do have like a slight cold or something, like a stuffy nose, so that's kind of why I keep sniffling and stuff so over the weekend I was uh, at my dad's and we had to go to Best Buy one day uh, and get some stuff and I was sitting there looking at GoPros and you know they're the same price there that they are everywhere else but you know looking at the pricing of GoPros and you know they're like four hundred dollars for the hero five which is what I would get uh, I would get the newest one just because it's got better features and it's got better quality and all that stuff um, so I do plan to buy a GoPro and like whenever I'm at the farm this summer get some real-life footage for you guys um, I do have a camera now but it's garbage kind of I mean it doesn't it doesn't record the best of videos. I mean, you guys have seen some video, um, some old farm toy videos. If you go back and look, uh, a ways, there's some where I use that camera, and it just it wasn't the greatest. Um, but I mean, it got the job done. Obviously, it just it was not that awesome. But uh, GoPro definitely would be awesome and it would produce great quality for you guys which you know would be awesome so yeah so the you know first thing first though is getting my uh, truck fixed as soon as that's fixed and I have paid for that then I'll uh, start saving up for a GoPro. I mean, I might have enough right away for a GoPro. We'll see. Because uh, once once I'm done with repairs, um, I'm gonna buy a bunch of 3D models. Like there's a bunch on Polygonish that I want to work on, um, and a couple other places that I'd like to get. And so you know, I'd get those and get a GoPro and be all set. This truck topped off here and I will jump back over and keep picking up some straw coming up on 10 yep okay so 4 10 44 okay so we'll go until we we'll go for another 15 minutes I think or something like that 10 15 we'll see how this plays out here and like I said I want to be able to get this thing edited and uploaded before I leave so, you know, if this one's super short, sorry. <laughs> it's just what I gotta do. So 
just what happens. Had I known a little bit sooner that, you know, how things would be working tonight for insulating, I probably would have recorded a video ahead of time. But, uh, didn't know until, like, 20 minutes ago. So, yeah, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> We're getting it done. Just, uh, it may not be quite on time. Like I said, I don't know if I'll get it, you know, where it's just, it's uploaded a little bit later tonight, or whether I just upload it tomorrow, and then also do, you know, the normal, um, mapping video, which that's just gonna be a quick update video, so. So maybe what I can do is just kind of flip-flop these, um, I can have this one recorded because the other one's just going to be like a couple minute video just to show a few updates So that one will maybe be like 10 minutes and so Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna flip-flop things So this video will still be a little bit shorter because I want to have time to get that other one done But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna flip-flop things um, So instead of having this video on Tuesday, you'll have the mapping video on Tuesday and this will go up on Wednesday. Um, yeah, that's that's going to work a little bit better. That's a good idea to have thought of just now. Glad that I thought of that. Had I thought of it a little bit sooner, I wouldn't even have started doing this video yet. But I do also work a little longer or a little earlier on Wednesday. So... I have to go in early because we have a uh, toddler time jump. And that's earlier in the morning, so I have to go in and work over that. Uh, it's at like 10 to noon, so I have to be there at like 9 o'clock. Get stuff set up. Wearing my sky's own shirt. Getting ready. <laughs> I gotta be leaving very soon. Oh, combine's full. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. We ran out of fertilizer. Forgot about that. Okay, so where is he? He's on the other side. Of course. Because why wouldn't he be? So our truck is half full. We had a lot of oats stored, which is nice. Hopefully we can get a lot of sunflowers and a lot of sorghum. So I think what we'll do is we'll unload the combine. We'll finish filling the forage wagon. And then unload it. And then that'll be the end of the video. Because that'll be good time in there. I did, I realized that I forgot to put the poll uh, question up in the last MAFM video about the uh, planter and cultivator. Um, so I'm going to do it again in this video. So uh, right about now there should be a poll up in the top right. Um, put your vote, should we buy a cultivator and bigger corn planter or use the air seeder for corn? Uh, and other row crops like you know, like the sunflower or not the sunflowers um, like the sorghum and the soybeans and the corn um, so go ahead and vote for that I did have one comment on the, that other video about that so but uh, yeah <clears throat> leave it down below or up in that poll I mean or both whatever you want to do um, but I'd recommend doing the poll question a little bit more. Because then that'll be a little bit easier for me to find. Okay, he's not going to start driving, is he? Well, no, because we're going to dismiss this worker. We're going to shut it down. Shut that down. We're just going to get everything shut down here. 
As soon as we fill this, it's going to be the end of the video, and I'm closing this, so. Which it won't take long for us to fill this thing. Because we're almost full already. We'll fill up on this pass. We just got four more rows on this half of the field, and then we just got that other half to pick up yet. And then that'll be all of the uh, oat straw. Didn't make a super large amount of money off of it, but I mean, every little bit helps. And it's not like we're as poor as we are on the Dakota Plains save game. You know, there we're, we're really, really, really poor. Okay, we're full. Let's head over here, get it unloaded, get this thing parked up, and we'll be all set. I don't know why that windrow doesn't show up, but the other ones do, partially. I don't know what it is with the multi-fruit crops. Like, if there's not chop straw, they don't, they show up green. It's kind of weird. I mean, it'll be nice for cultivating, because, like, if we have course play or something cultivating, we can just fly up in the air and we can see where he's at just by looking, seeing where it's green and where it's not. Finances, that's what I want. Oh, so this is counted as harvest income. So we made $1,016 off of it, which is, I mean, for a load, that's not bad. So we still have $571 to, set, to make up. So that'll be one more load uh, with the forage wagon, and that'll cover that. So we won't be in the red for our total. And then maybe we did it. Let's see, we've spent 339 on livestock, spent 476 in hired workers, or in vehicle running costs, that's probably like fuel. Almost $3,000 in wage payments, which is absolutely insane. And then, other we've made 2166 so not bad. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description to see my PC specs, my upload schedule, and also some links to my social medias and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.